Alrighty, gang. So peak week is upon us. Um, good news, bad news, a little bit of both, um, a little bit of, of neutral. So first of all, um, as you can see, I am uh, I'm pretty freaking pretty freaking lean. This is as lean as I've been in a long time. Before I left for Memphis, I was 162 pounds. So um, pretty much at my fighting weight. So now as long as I don't overindulge uh, while in Memphis uh, leading into the meet, I should be fine. So let's go over training here. Um, basically, here's where the good news and the bad news is, right? We're going to start right here. I did a squat session here. Uh, I did a bench press and a deadlift session here. Good news is, is I can uh, bench press. Uh, not nearly what I'm capable of, but nonetheless, I can bench press. I uh, did a little bit more bench press practice here, and then I worked up to the openers here. So let's go over this uh, session right here. Good session, 400 squat, right? So I uh, got that for you here. You can see that, uh, again, in the singlet, right? Um, setups the same in the shoes and the knee sleeves, everything I'm going to be lifting in. Um, and yeah, yeah, just basically just practicing every single day, doing the same setup every single time um, as I'm getting closer and, and closer and closer to the meet. So um, this was, I believe, 370 pounds, if I'm not mistaken, um, which is basically my opener. And then, of course, my goal was to hit my second attempt today, which I did. I didn't get video of it, but I did uh, hit my second attempt uh, of 400 pounds. And uh, that was the goal. Um, and so you can see that 380 was pretty doable. Um, so yeah, got that checked off of the list. Um, no problems that day. Shoulder was good. The shoulder pain is kind of right out here and laterally in that infraspinatus um, insertion right there. And so um, went on to the next day and uh, was a, a basically a new low, 163.8 um, this particular day. I'm pretty sure that's a new low. Yeah, that was a new low. And then got um, basically the, the goal was bench press and deadlift. So started off with the bench press. Got that here for you. And did 135, no pain. Did 155, no pain. Uh, and this, I did 155, and then I did 175, no pain. And then this here uh, is 190 pounds. And what I found out is that I have to bring the bar out super, super, super carefully. Really make sure that I'm really tight through the scapula, shoulders down toward the butt. Feel like I'm bending the bar, and then I have to basically just, I have to muscle it. I can't use any leg drive. I can't um, use any momentum. I just have to just muscle it from a dead stop uh, and then bring it up again. So went ahead uh, and tried for a little bit heavier. Um, got that for you here as well. Um, that was 100 and no, that was 205. 205 that I've got on here. And uh, same thing, just had to be careful. Um, I felt, feel a little bit of pain, you know, when I'm, um, extending, uh, at the top. Um, but yeah, the good news is, is at least I can bench press. I can bench press more than 60 kilos. I'm probably going to open up with about 90 kilos. Maybe if I'm lucky, finish up with about 110 or 112. Um, but yeah, it's a whole lot better than, than 60, right? So that was the good news. Now, of course, the bad news, right? Went on to the deadlift and the goal was, was to move up again to my second attempt, 500, which I've been doing the whole time now, right? But um, right here uh, with my opener, 465 pounds, I felt a very unusual strain in my low back. Um, you can see here as I step away from the bar, I knew that something was not good. And I was like, well, what the heck now? So Luckily, a couple days of rest and a lot of my um, prehab and mobility work, it was gone uh, by the next day when I had to go to work at uh, Renown to do the CT job. So thank goodness for that, right? I, I feel like I dodged another bullet there. Um, and that basically healed up 
it, as quick as it could have. So um, basically, those were the last heavy sessions, I guess you might say. Um, was planning on doing my openers on Monday here the 6th, but I wanted to give my low back just a, just one more day of rest. So I just went in and did some accessories, practiced the bench press with 195 pounds. And then basically the next day, Tuesday, May 7th, I worked up to my openers. My openers on squat are going to be 365. It's like 363 when you do the kilos. Bench press is probably going to be like 203 pounds, 90 kilos. And then deadlift is going to be 465. So that's what I did today. Got in all the gear, got video of that here for you. Um, and everything moved really exquisitely. And the body felt really, really good. Um, squat has been kind of the, I guess you might say the star of the show. Uh, throughout this prep and uh, no issues at all with the squat. Um, moved well, didn't feel heavy at all. Basically, I will not lift that again until Sunday, May 12th at the meet. Um, next up, after I got done with that, that dreaded bench press, right? Um, it wasn't great, but it was decent. And I worked up to... Uh, I believe 225 pounds started with the opener. Now this is bench press is kind of a, a, a little bit of a, um, I don't know what you want to call it. It's a little bit of an outlier in that I'm not doing my usual plan. Uh, here, what I'm doing is uh, I'm basically just um, doing, testing things out, doing what I can that doesn't hurt and working up to as heavy as I can without um, you know, doing any, any, any pain. So I was able to work up to, uh, 225 pounds, which is probably as sad as it is to say, that's probably going to be my, uh, my third attempt, you know, for bench press, but on the bright side, um, I, <laughs> I'm not going to have any problem, uh, keeping my butt down, uh, on that, uh, on that particular um, bench press because I was having trouble keeping my butt down on like 235, 240 or more. So good news there. And then on to, I'm going to admit, there was a little bit of fear involved with that deadlift. But, um, you know, really no issues at all. Worked up to my planned opener of 465 pounds. Was tempted, but don't get me wrong, I was very tempted to go ahead and try to do 500, um, but decided better of it um, and thought, you know what, let's just walk away from this um, knowing that, you know, I'm strong, I'm healthy, and um, we'll just um, call it good there. We'll lift that again until the meet. So, uh, all right, so fam, basically the plan now uh, is fly out to Memphis. And then on Friday, uh, if I can warm up or if I can do this last session in the warm up room, um, you know, kind of behind the platforms there at the powerlifting meet, I'd like to at least work up to my last, my very, very last warm up uh, of, um, you know, the both the squat and the bench. So we'll just kind of go over that here real quickly. Um, as we go through my workout or excuse me, my work up and attempts, basically what I would do, I'll shrink myself down here, uh, is on the squat, do all of my warm ups and work up to right here, um, 341 and then tear it all down and then basically do the same thing on the bench to work all the way up to 198 pounds and then call it good. That will be the end of meat prep. Uh, and it will be time to um, basically rest, make weight, of course, uh, which is going to be Sunday morning. It's a two-hour weigh-in, so we weigh in at 7, start lifting at 9, and um, that's when I'll start hitting these loads again. So, yeah, meat prep is about over, you guys.